Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the Perix MX3200. This is a 2-in-1 wired and uh, yeah, also a wireless gaming mouse. First off, just want to say thank you for Perix for sending this out, and also in a few days there will be also a review of one of uh, Perix's keyboards, so stay tuned for that. And on the side of the box, uh, on the left hand side, we have here uh, 8 features. So first of all, we have the 50 meters range, uh, the 5040 DPI, uh, the laser sensor, 10 buttons, uh, the 2-in-1 functionality, it has 5 programmable buttons, has a rechargeable battery with a charging station, and uh, yeah, it also comes with uh, gold-plated um, cables. Uh, this is also certified to work with Windows XP, Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, and also, yes, Vista, and they left out Vista. Now, as you open uh, the kind of... Uh, top piece of the product you can see the product and yeah it kind of shows you um you know, some of the buttons shows you uh, you know the dpi button you know your color switching button also um you know four kind of programmable buttons on the left button, which we're going to be taking um yeah we're going to be taking a look at that uh, in a bit but first off uh kind of what do you get in the box so first of all you do get your mouse and as far as this you get some accessories so first of all this uh, inside here is a disc and uh, yeah, you also get uh, some um, pads there, uh, um, yeah, some kind of glider pads. If yours kind of wear out on your mouse, you can uh, replace them. And uh, yeah, you also get a use manual. As I will say, this is uh, this mouse is pretty well documented, and the manual is all in color. So uh, yeah, so you'll be able to use the software, um, even if you you know you don't know much about uh, you know computers. Reading this will yeah definitely give you uh, yeah a really good head start. So inside the box, we have the mouse. Very, very unique looking mouse, and um, yeah, well, it's a very, very unique looking mouse. And one thing that I am, uh, you know, kind of skeptical about is, you know, is it going to be, is it going to be, you know, kind of any good? So yeah, you also get your cable. Yeah, it's all braided black. Uh, really nice to see black braided cables. And then you also get the docking station there, which acts as a receiver for when the mouse is, uh, yeah, on wireless. So here we are, this is everything we get in the box. Also that uh, charging station, uh, it's also there, yeah, uh, to pick up the signal um, for when you're using the mouse in wireless mode. So here's just a close up uh, of the mouse. So here we are just, um, just spinning it around, just having a look at the mouse in general. So as so the left hand side you have them four buttons, uh, quite large buttons, and you can program them all individually. On the front of the mouse, you do get your little port there for plugging in the USB when using the uh, mouse in wide mode. On the right hand side, pretty blank, uh, there's nothing much to talk about there. And um, yeah, just a, a, a photograph again of, of the front. Now on the back, yeah, you see it's quite unique. You've got two sensors, they also have a switch here to kind of change between uh, the different modes. So just kind of uh, unwrapping this cable, you do get two USB cables. Uh, you only need one for the mouse to operate, but having another USB there will allow your mouse to charge faster. So there we are, it does actually say it on the sticker as well, uh, more power, yes, so there we are, more power, so then your mouse can charge faster, which is always nice. And on this other hand, you get the, yeah, the USB, which you can then plug into the mouse if you want to use it in wired mode. I'll be testing it out in wired mode, I think, uh, then kind of, yeah, testing it out in the wireless to see what it's like. But yeah, you do need to test it out um, in, well, you need to set it up in wired mode first. Now, when you are docking it on to the actual uh, docking station, the wire is going to be in the uh, actual docking station itself. Just to make that clear. Now, you know, first of all, my impressions, you know, moving the mouse around, it is pretty good, glides really, really well, and to be honest, um, just clicking all the buttons down, including the scroll wheel, they're all incredibly easy to click down. And uh, yeah, I do think the positions of the buttons have been kind of for, uh, so that's all good. Uh, everything's all nice. The scroll wheel button is something that I always test on mice, and it's easy to click in. Uh, you can feel the bumps in the scroll wheel. Uh, left and right clicks, um, pretty easy to click down. And then, yeah, the four buttons on the left, uh, yet again, pretty easy to click down. And um, in terms of the mouse, it doesn't feel the strongest of mice, but it's, um, yeah, strong enough, and I don't think it's going to break anytime soon. So here's what the uh, actual mouse looks like when it's on the docking station. I will say when it's charging, it will flash, and then it'll stop, and then it'll kind of pulsate again. As you can see, it's got like a blue glow. It, it, it does appear to be flickering in the video, that's just... Uh, yeah, the refresh rate of the camera's lens or whatnot, however you want to put that. Now, I'm just going to go over some of the software. You do get the software, and uh, yeah, by default, uh, two of the uh, four buttons are volume up and down. Um, so yeah, you can also choose what you want to do with different ones. You know, you can uh, you know you can allocate it key presses and different button presses. If you go into the advanced settings, you actually set a macro. Out, that's what I'm doing now. So if I just click X and then click Stop. So every time I now click um, the button. So this is the fourth button which I just programmed. Um, yes, every time I click that, um, yeah, it'll be an X. 
that's all good. You can also program the middle button. So if you don't want it to do a middle button, you can start to do something else. So you click OK. It says setup complete. So there we are, I just saved that there. So now if I just go on onto my desktop, can I illustrate this, see if it works? Hoping it will do. See if I just hold down that button on my uh, mouse now. So without clicking anything on the keyboard now, and that's doing that. So it's, uh, it's all good. Macros work. Very, very responsive and it's instant. And uh, you can hold them now. So macros work. And uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of one thing that a lot of people do want to program into mice because if you're on a game, say Battlefield 4, for example, um, yeah, having um, yeah, these buttons, you know, you can key band it to say G to throw a grenade. So you don't actually need to take your hand, um, you know, away from WASD, so that's all good. In terms of the software, you know, uh, you do get a lot of sensitivity settings. And also uh, the DPI, you get three kind of levels for DPI. Um, and yeah, you can set them. I will say the slider, again, uh, you get to choose uh, quite a lot. Um, and it's in terms of you know what you want, there's a lot of intervals, and, then, and yeah, you also get your uh, your polling rate or, or kind of like your response rate. When using the gaming sensor, it's on a thousand, but you do need to be wired to take advantage of that on wireless. I believe it's uh, yeah 500, and also yeah the lower setting of there. That's all good. That's just been some of the software. Um, it's pretty basic. You can't change LEDs on the mouse. I will say that. Um, so I actually you know initially uh, thought you could, but you cannot do that. And um, also having the software installed, it does actually, yeah, also show you uh, yeah, how much battery is left. And just to conclude, I think this mouse is pretty good. Um, I've tested it out in wide and wireless mode. Pretty good. And um, yeah, the price point that it's coming in at, I think it's a uh, yeah, pretty good value for money. And um, yeah, apart from that, I'm going to recommend it. Pretty good. Um, yeah, kind of leave it there. So guys, that's been the review of the Perix um, MX3200. Hope you've enjoyed. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, guys, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.